guys welcome back to another video and in today's video man i'm going to be giving you all the five things i wish i knew when i first started out buying cologne stay tuned <laughs> started if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on notifications you know go ahead and subscribe man it brings awareness to the channel and listen man we grinding all 2022 so i'm gonna prepare this video well i wanted to prepare this video for it could be for anybody or definitely for the person that's starting out starting their collection their collection and you know it's some things to buy in cologne there's more than just going in smelling it of course it's going you know it's going to smell nice but it's more to this than just going in and buying it smelling it and be like okay i'm gonna get this one so here are the five things i wish i knew when i first started buying cologne man 15 years ago maybe i wish i knew when i started buying cologne is that the seasons matter what season are we in spring winter fall matter because it's all it's going to help your juice perform because if you buy freshies in the winter time and you're going outside and you wonder why soon as you hit the cold air you can't smell your cologne anymore well that is why the notes that's in that fragrance is not designed for cold weather so seasons matter season seasons second thing i wish i knew man was where to pick cologne i mean when i first started out I was spraying it hair, which is a no-no. You ever do the mist in the air cloud? I'm not going to spray this now because I got something on, but you spray it in the air and you walk through it and spraying my 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 kneecaps, my, my stomach, you name it. Spraying all the wrong places you're supposed to hit your cologne. So we all know now that, you know, you want to spray your cologne on the pressure points. That's where, you know, your skin heats up and that makes the... Uh, the perfume come out or the cologne come out so you want to hit the pressure points man and definitely you don't want to spray on the front of your neck that's a no no number three guys number three the price does not matter there is a stigma that the more you pay for your cologne the better it's going to perform and that is totally not the truth in my collection back here i have a fragrance that costs twenty dollars and it's stronger than every fragrance that's on the shelf back here. So it's not all about the price. The more you pay, the better it's going to be. Huge thing I used to do in the beginning when I first started collecting. I'm thinking, oh, if I buy the $150 bottle versus this $60 bottle, this one is better than that. Y'all know, y'all get the drift. So price does not matter. Number three, y'all. Four guys, what I wish I knew, what I know now back versus back then till now is finding yourself a house fragrance house that does clones of fragrances that that might be expensive you have some cologne bottles that's over six hundred dollars with two chain set i got a bottle of cologne that costs more than your rent that's what he was talking about so get yourself a clone find yourself a, a, a fragrance house that does clones like for example i have with me here we're zooming in some from the house of alexandria guys this one right here this right here is one of the best clones for aventus creed aventus i want to pay that much for a bottle of creed aventus guys i'm telling you go on alexandriafragrances.com and this one is called brasilla brasilla guys one of the best creed clones on the market and this bottle is two ounce and only cost 70 dollars Create a bottle of Creed, especially the big bottle, can cost you over $300, $400, $500, $600. You need to be paying that much for cologne, guys. So, number four, I wish I knew about houses of fragrances that made clones back then. Now I do, and I shop for Alexandria for all the clones. Um, they got a lot of Creed clones, guys, for Green Irish, Tweed, uh, you name it. So, but this is the clone for uh, Priscilla. I mean, this is the clone for Creed Aventus called Priscilla, guys. Number five, guys, we are at the finale. Number five, what I know now, what I didn't know back then when it come down to buying cologne is notes. The notes. What is in 
the cologne. What is I'm smelling? Um, you know, because I used to just buy cologne. Oh, that says Gucci. I'm buying it. Oh, that says Prada. I'm buying it. No. Now I do research on it. I see what's in the cologne. I see what I'm going to be smelling. And then I'm able to take that information and then compare it with, like I said, what seasons are we in? If it's summertime, if it's a citrus, is it, if it's lime in it, I know that when that heat, when it heats up outside in that summer, that thing is going to be pumping. So I wish I knew about doing, finding out what the notes are. Now for all the notes that goes into Cologne, a lot of us go check out Fragrantica. That's where I go for Fragrantica to get the note breakdown and, uh, you know, just to keep me informed on what I'm going to be buying. And um, that's the five things, guys. Five things, what I know now to what I didn't know back then helps me make better choices when it comes down to picking out the right fragrance juice. To watching this video, guys. See you guys real soon. Everybody have a good day. Peace. Salute. Always smell nice.